guys, I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have my Ipsy OS box. This is the one that they send to me that has all sorts of samplings of what you might get in your box this month. So I have some things from Refreshments, which is the new line that they started doing and I had the hand cream and the body cream and I'm still using the hand cream every night. The body cream is like waiting until spring because it's a very citrusy scent. I had somebody comment on that video though and say that they hated the scent. I thought it was just a nice light citrusy scent so I don't know maybe they got a bad one maybe they just hate citrus I have no idea anyway I thought it smelled nice so this month they released their shaving cream and a little shaving kit so it actually came with a razor and uh, two heads and then a little suction cup holder thingy so that you can you know hang it in your shower or whatever. And then the pillowy shave cream. So I did shave my legs with this. It went very well. I got no nicks, no irritation. I was quite impressed actually. I've been using Billy razors for the last, I don't know, several months and I really like them. Um, I, I thought this one was quite nice. The handle feels like it's metal or something. It's got a little bit of weight to it and the shaving cream was actually really, really great. I've been kind of playing around with different shaving creams. Billy has a really nice one, and then there's one that I got just like at Target or something. Can't remember the name of it, I'll post it. It's got the same texture as this one, where it's almost a little bit sticky and a little bit goes a long way. It lathers up really nicely without getting like foamy, but it just, it has a really interesting texture to it. It almost reminds me of like marshmallow cream, <laughs> but not like gross sticky that way. Anyway, uh, I've only used it once, but so far so good. I really, really liked this. So I'm liking the refreshment stuff. Plus it always comes with stickers, like these shiny stickers. <laughs> I don't know why, but whatever, I like it. Okay, so moving on to the products that you will get in your Glam Bag or Glam Bag Plus. So here's the Glam Bag Plus bag. And then this is just super cute. I absolutely love this. So this side, it has the little metal clasp of lips and then on this side it looks like a little letter sealed with a kiss how cute is that I love this bag okay on my lips today is this bite beauty lipstick this is in the shade strawberry froze I think that's what it's called anyway it is a very bright pink so I lined my lips with more of like a raspberry pink so it kind of muted it a little bit uh, but a super bright fun color I love bite beauty lipsticks they are my favorite brand of lipstick, just like the straight up lipstick. Plus I love their matte lip crayons. I just, I absolutely love this company. And the color is bright and crazy, but it is fun. It's one of those daring colors that I think not everybody is going to love. In fact, I feel like I it clashes with my red hair. It'll probably look better if I go back to blue or even purple or something. So anyway, but I do like it and I love the formula. This is a little eyeshadow set from Love You First perfect eyeshadow duo in rose gold and ivory and it's just a cute little compact you've got a mirror on there and then the dual pan right here with a nice brown and then a nice gold in there it doesn't seem very rose gold to me it's definitely more of like a bronzy color i wore this yesterday and the colors are really pretty they blend out nicely you know i mean it's a nice little set and these colors are lovely. I think these are, you know, a lot of people can wear these shades. They're not crazy or anything. That brown is so easy to blend with other colors, using your crease, use it on its own. And then you've got this beautiful bronzy gold and the textures are really nice. The gold definitely has a little more of a creaminess to it, um, but you know, blends out nicely and everything. So good little eyeshadow duo. I have some eye cream from Glam Glow. This is Glam Glow Bright Eyes. I have used this a couple of times. It's a really lovely cream. I actually love Glam Glow products. However, they are not actually cruelty free. I think it's one of those, you know, we don't test on animals unless required by law sorts of things that puts them into that category. So when I get stuff from Ipsy, I do use it, but I don't actually purchase things from Glam Glow. That's how I'm justifying this. Anyway, it's really nice. This I hadn't heard of before. This is from Vanilla Co. and it's Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm 
or clarifying, and it's this tiny little jar, but it's actually a pretty nice cleansing balm. I do use cleansing balms to take off my makeup. My favorite currently is from Pharmacy, but this one was really nice. When you first put it on, you use it on your dry skin to kind of melt away your makeup, and then once you start rinsing, it's supposed to foam up. I did not see any foaming up, but I do think that it did a good job of getting my makeup off. Anyway, good product. Okay, this is from Item Beauty, another brand that I had not heard of, and it's called Lash Snack, and it's this teeny tiny little wand. It almost looks like an eyebrow. In fact, I had to double check. I was like, wait a minute, is this supposed to be for my eyebrows? But it is black. I have it on my, sorry. I have too much bangs going on today. So I am wearing it today and I feel like, you know, so far it's okay. It's not my super favorite or anything, uh, but I've only used it like twice and haven't had any issues with smudging or flaking so far. But you know what? Um, in my last Ipsy, I got an Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara and I raved about how much I loved it. It was great, blah, blah, blah. And then like two days later, I noticed so much flaking. I was like, what the heck? I just gave this a good review and now it's flaking on me. So who knows, maybe wearing it twice is not enough for a full review. Also on my eyes today is this fun little thing. I thought this was a liquid lipstick. Again, I had to like double check. Nope, definitely for your eyes. This is from About Face and it is a matte fluid eye paint in the color Dionysus. So I have this on my eyes. You can see the pink on there. This is all the shadow that I used today. I was just like, we're just gonna do like a one and done thing. So I, you know, put a little smudge on and then blended it out with a brush and I feel like it blends out really, really nicely. It is matte and once it dries, it looks more like a regular powder eyeshadow and it stays put all day long. I wore it like all day yesterday, even working outside doing construction in the hot sun and it stayed put all day long. I was really impressed and I like the color of it. So I did also try putting it on my lips. I put it over this lipstick and I thought that it looked really nice and it felt just fine to me. So you could use it on your lips, I think even though that's not what it's meant for. Um, but it is really nice as an eyeshadow. I do like these liquid eyeshadows. I feel like I used to be obsessed with them and I haven't used them in a while, so it's kind of fun to go back to that. This is a blush compact from the company Maylay. I don't know how to say that. Anyway, I opened it and I was like, wait, I think I have something like this. And sure enough, I have the bronzer version of this. And I hadn't used it in a while because, you know. Anyway, it's really pretty. I have it on my cheeks today. So it has a fair amount of shimmer in the blush itself. So I was afraid. I was like, I don't know. Should I use this more like a highlighter? But it's definitely pigmented like a blush. So with the different shells you've got going on here, you could try to use specific colors if you wanted, you know, more of this light pink or more of a bronzy color or something. Uh, but generally speaking, I think it's easier to just kind of swirl your brush in it. However, it is really pigmented. So you kind of have to be gentle if you're gonna do a giant swirl and then just lightly dab and then you can kind of build it up to however much blush you feel like wearing that day. It has a nice big mirror in the compact. I really like it. Um, you know, I think it looks pretty. It's a little on the cool toned side in general. I thought it was gonna be a little bit warmer, but maybe I just hit those cool pans harder than I hit the other ones, who knows? This is a foundation brush from IT Cosmetics. IT Cosmetics has really lovely makeup brushes. This is not one of them, <laughs> it's so sad. Skin Hugging Foundation number 707, and you can see it's got this funky, it's, it's almost like it's got a dip right there. It's like this slope, which you think, okay, yeah, that fits right under my cheekbones and you know maybe around my jawline or something. But it's so like flimsy, especially this top part, the longer bristles. It's like trying to put on foundation with this is really difficult. It takes a while to blend it out. I tried using it with powder and I wasn't that impressed. You can see I used it today and look how like it just eats my foundation. It's all over this, these beautiful white bristles. And I'm telling you this like pointed part is just useless. I just want to like chop it off. and. It Cosmetics has a lot of really wonderful brushes and I just am not impressed with this one. I don't like it at all. 
This is a face moisturizer from Gold Fadden MD. This is Solution Vital Boost Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturizer. It has vitamin D and hyaluronic acid and gooseberry. Gooseberry always makes me think of The Witcher because Yennefer smells like gooseberry and lilac or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I like this. I used it this morning. Uh, actually twice because I put it on right when I woke up and then I put it on after my shower and it has a really interesting texture to it It's kind of thick and you think it's going to be heavy But it's not and it just like melts into your skin and your skin feels very Soft it doesn't feel like you have lotion on or anything. It doesn't have any sort of wet greasy anything like that It feels very soft very dry almost like a matte finish. It reminded me of more like a primer so I really like the texture of this I like I said today is the first time that I've used it but it seems really nice and it's not scented or anything so I feel like you know it would be good for sensitive skin I mean you know who knows but so far I like it and I'm always down for moisturizers you know and if ever you get something like this that you're like I don't want to use that on my face you could always just use it as a hand cream right okay and then the last item is from Tokyo milk and it's a hand cream and I, I guess it's just called and soul is the name of the scent the scent is very strong and it's not a bad scent, but it's just very much not me. I put it on my hands yesterday and I kept catching whiffs of it and I was like, ah, oh, I can't wait to wash that off. So, um, you know, I say that, <laughs> that it doesn't smell bad. It just wasn't me. It smelled like somebody else. I don't know. Yeah, and it's, it's very strong. Um, but the texture of it is quite nice. So, you know, I'll give this to somebody else who likes the scent and I'm sure that they will love it. So anyway, that is all the stuff that I got. It's a lot of really great stuff this month and I like the bags. So I'm excited about my box, which I will also do an unboxing of later in the month when I get that one. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss that one because I always get different stuff in that box. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share with your friends. I can't wait to hear what you guys got in your boxes and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!